I am Baljeet. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share why I chose Moto Floor Modular Garage Flooring Tiles from Costco over epoxy flooring for my garage floor. After watching many videos of beautiful epoxy garage floors, I really had my mind set on doing epoxy flooring in my garage. Um, so what I did, I started doing my research on what I needed to do to prepare my garage floor for epoxy flooring. Uh, in order to get a really good result, I would have to get the concrete really clean. For a good lasting result. This is where things took a turn for me. Uh, the thing is my house is approximately 50 years old. Uh, with that you have no idea what is the condition of the concrete. You can do all the prep in the world but if, you, if your concrete is old and tired it will lift up with the epoxy down the road uh, like with hot tire pickup that's a common thing with epoxy that happens um, after a year or two your epoxy if you drive onto your epoxy floor um, if you took a long drive it's called hot tire pickup because your tires are hot so when you park your car uh, the epoxy comes off because of the hot tires um, so that's the thing if you have a if you have a concrete that is old and tired even if you're if you use good epoxy like uh, rock solid or, or something really good quality epoxy but the epoxy can be good but if your floor is old and tired it, the floors will lift not necessarily the epoxy I hope you understand what I'm trying to say is it's not the epoxy it's your floor that is old so epoxy I would recommend on a house that is not too old uh, preferably on a freshly poured concrete you want to uh, seal it uh, or put epoxy right over it um, so you have like a really fresh seal and it bonds with it and surely you won't have issues for for many uh, many many years uh, even that even if even if you poured it on a freshly poured concrete so you would still have down I would say five to seven years down the road you would still have epoxy a come off uh, with hot tire pickup there will be like small patches sizes of like uh, like a quarter size or you know just little patches wherever you park your car so that's something that I really did not like about epoxy flooring and then on top of that that my garage um, um, concrete is so old uh, I didn't want to take a risk uh, and that is why I chose a motor floor and it's very easy to install and it's very durable there was no prep work uh, other than just sweeping the floor I also uh, took my vacuum and I vacuumed the floor just to pick up anything underneath the floor because once you put the floor just like epoxy everything stays underneath it uh, I did also wash it uh, before that um, I did I did my research uh, before I purchased the motor floor and why I chose motor floor uh, uh, over other modular uh, floor tiles or garage floors uh, people had really good um, 
everybody that got this flooring from Costco or, or wherever they got it from uh, had a really good reviews and nice watch reviews people did after like a, a one year of ownership or two years of ownership and everybody seemed to be pretty happy with this flooring you do have to uh, say that it is it is uh, plastic uh, tile so they do make a little bit of a noise but you will get over that and for and then it's it's your garage so you know you just go get in your car and leave or you know even if you want to spend time there is you have to uh, you have to have a mindset that it's a garage it's not inside of your house so it does have it's, it is a very slightly noisy I won't say very noisy it's very slightly noisy when you walk on it and you know and it does like has cracking sounds uh, but nothing too annoying um, I haven't I have had it for about a few months now and um, I I don't it doesn't bother me a bit I actually love it I love the way it looks so let's talk about cost uh, I lucked out and I bought my flooring from Costco when it was on sale uh, a box uh, is about hundred and forty dollars which is 48 uh, square feet uh, one uh, one foot tiles so 48 one foot tiles and so but uh, I was able to get it about $50 and $50 off on a box it was about $90 for a box I initially ordered 15 boxes I ordered a little uh, a little bit more than I needed just from the beginning just I didn't know how it was gonna go so I just ordered just a little bit more I ended up returning to uh, full boxes and I still have I would say at least a uh, little less than a half a box still sitting in the garage just extra in case if that tile gets damaged or anything you know then, then I just have that so my garage is about 575 square feet so for 500 and square 75 square feet if you bought these tiles when Costco has them on sale uh, with the $50 off it comes out to approximately 1200 bucks so for that that is really good price if you were to do epoxy flooring and the cost of epoxy for a almost 600 square foot garage my garage is three car garage um, with renting all the equipment and everything else I, I have seen um, estimates of about three thousand two thousand to three thousand dollars so this was easy well, fairly inexpensive and we, I, I really like it I sent pictures to my family and friends they all love it they all ask me all kinds of questions about it so that's why I was like you know what I should make a video about this so if you are thinking, if you're looking for alternatives from epoxy flooring and you want like really nice floors that you can be proud of, park your car or if you spend time in the garage, um, I, I do recommend this modular uh, garage floor from Costco. There are other garage floors out there, uh, I think it's called, uh, I forgot the name, uh, there's a guy out on YouTube called, um, what is his name? Um, obsessed garage check out his channel he has a product that he uses but it's 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 definitely better than motor floor but it's considerably more cost it, it's cost about I would say five to six thousand dollars for that garage floor so you know looking at the price and everything and so I, I went with this I'm really happy with the results uh, Alright guys, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, DIY remodeling videos, I've been working on my house, I'll be making more videos, uh, some of the videos that are going to be coming up like I did um, gutter guard, so I'm going to be making a video on that, uh, uh, talking about that, how I went through the process, how much it cost and uh, if, you know what I think about it. So that's one of the videos that you can look forward to. Um, so please uh, hit the notification uh, button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer those for you. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.